with you, how long have you been taking this as seriously now? Uh, it's like my second year rapping. Oh, this is your only your second year rapping? Mm -hmm. I started rapping in 2020. You're doing pretty well for yourself. I'm trying to go crazy right now. Because I feel like even when I like, if I pull, like when I look at like, you know, your DSPs or even like YouTube and shit mm -hmm. like that, like you could, I mean, obviously it goes back to 2020, but it's like you've dropped so much that it's kind of hard to like just sure, sure. scroll all the way back to 2020 and for me to really like go back and be like, all right, I'm going to go listen to some like really, really, really old R3 type shit. For sure, for sure. How, how, who put you in the studio? How'd you get started? How'd this all begin for you? Uh, that's my producer right there. That's the first person I ever, mm -hmm. ever made a song with. But it's crazy because I had met his brothers before I even met him. Like, I was in there. My homie took me over to their house. Like, he, my homie already knew them. He took me over there. They playing beats and shit. I'm like, it's hard. Let me get on this. Everybody think I'm joking. Like, because all the homies be telling me, like, rap, rap. And I never, I'm like, I'm not rapping. So when I say, let me hop on, everybody laughing. I'm like, for real, I'm hop on. I hopped on and I gassed it. They called him, like, bro, what the fuck? It's some dude over here right now. Hey, what's your name? I didn't even have a rap name at the time. I'm like, oh my fuck, he just called me R3. He like, there's some nigga over here named R3. He just gassed your beat crazy, fool. After then we just we just locked it in.